Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to do a short meet the teacher slash meet the behavior analyst. On this channel, I'm kind of going to have two themes running. <laughs> One is my professional work as a behavior analyst and things that hopefully will help other practicing behavior analysts and behavior technicians to improve the quality of the supports that they provide. And the other one has been our homeschooling journey. And that has certainly been influenced by my professional background, but also focusing on um, educating my own child at home. So this will be a little bit of my background and how all this stuff ties together um, in case you're wondering. So I am a board certified behavior uh, analyst at the doctoral level. Um, I have licensed in the state of Alaska as a behavior analyst. I've been in the field of behavior analysis since 2005. I worked as a behavior technician before getting my uh, certification and then later getting the doctoral uh, component. Um, I have provided services in in-home settings, in clinic settings, um, I have run a preschool that used ABA principles and a private school that supported individuals that were not able to um, get their needs met in the school system at that time. I've also provided in-school supports for individuals who needed additional support from outside of the school, um, but in the school setting. I've been supervising behavior analytic trainees since 2009. So I've been in the field for a while. I have worked in a variety of settings and all of that really kind of contributes to um, the homeschool situation that we're in. Um, I have been uh, my background as a professional has been to help individualize supports to help people learn what they need to learn. So I feel very comfortable with being able to take information and tweak it and present it in a way that matches that learner's um, needs and how they can best receive that information. Um, we had been considering um, homeschooling my child um, prior to actually making that decision because we felt that the school district wasn't adequately um, challenging our my learner and um, the options that we had um, were limited so they were starting to you know tune the teacher out talk a lot in class starting to be kind of disruptive because they were bored they didn't need to um cover this stuff as much as it was being covered in a group setting um so we were already kind of thinking about that um and I really enjoy supporting individuals in an in-home setting. So of course I would want to do that with my own child, but trying to balance um, full-time work and being a homeschool parent seemed to not be an option um, until the pandemic and we were sent home to work and my kid was sent home to learn. And we said, you know what? let's just do homeschool because we can have more consistency than what the school district is really going to be able to do considering they have a lot of factors that they have to juggle um, when deciding how they're going to educate um, so we started homeschooling um, at the end of my it would be like the last quarter so from spring break on um, for second grade we did all of third grade as homeschool, and my uh, child loved it so much, they had asked to continue to homeschool. And so we are continuing to homeschool. I have um, been able to continue to work from home. They have not made us come back to the office. They have left that as an option and are allowing um, employees the flexibility to be able to navigate what works. So for right now, 
um, we are, I'm exclusively working from home and I'm able to set my schedule where I have um, uh, good chunks of time in the afternoon and in the evening, which a lot of my work does fall in the evening with regards to trainings, because that's when people are outside of their job and they can attend trainings. Um, so it's working really well for us. Our plan, plan right now is to continue to homeschool this year through fourth grade, um, next year through fifth grade, and then we will probably be looking at re-entering the um, public school system uh, in sixth grade with a transition into the middle school. So that is our current plan. That is my background. And I just wanted to share that information as sort of a meet the teacher, meet the behavior analyst, depending upon which side of things that you are attending to. Um, and hopefully, um, this channel will kind of help to see how all of the things kind of interconnect. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'd be happy to answer your questions.